Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you just this uh, procedural, uh, weird looking chess pieces um, created using stretch of notes. Right, so let's get to the explainer. So I have uh, the board, which is just made of plane, and the plane is being extruded and scale a little bit for each and every individual faces. And I simply extrude uh, this part. So we have something like, kind of like a chocolate board pieces. Uh, if I'm not wrong, you can also use the mask to mask out certain area. It's really totally up to you how you want to go about doing this. Um, yeah. So anyhow, the, the next one uh, we have is the chest pieces. So with the chest pieces, let me align this very, very quickly. With chest, uh, the chest pieces is basically a simple uh, cylinder, okay? Cylinder that's been um, slices into 10 different cut, and then we can randomize with the seed and random number for the meridians profile. And then for the placement, I simply use plane because plane has uh, four different vertices you can then you know easily place them in four different corner of the plane so the same thing uh, with all the pieces I simply make it different size different height and randomize the seed so for the placement of the pieces, you can actually use something that's more procedural. Take the height and then divide it by half and then offset it. Uh, anyway, the, the, the next one also, I use plane and I simply make a bunch of them for the pawn. So this is kind of like a, you can make the whole chest pieces just a super basic one like this. Maybe the horse and the king and the... The other one will will be slightly more difficult but uh, if you want to add details and properly add details you can actually use um, things like bevel um, so in this case it's, it's, it's the same thing it's all the chess pieces each one is random it has random uh, details which is just actually a bevel here I'm using a monad and I have 100 different variations of the chess pieces. Inside the monad is basically just the cylinder, once again, with a random number for the meridians, and each one of them get different seed, and each one of them is being beveled a little bit. By doing the bevel, um, here I'm, um, I'm already also adding remesh modifier, but with the bevel you have this kind of weird detailings if you combine it with solidify so i i think this is just you know like quick um side effects you know it's not it's just like a, an idea but with spread chalk or with with other means like um procedural shaders you can make quite an interesting details for the chest pieces you know like vector displacement uh, for now this is just the basic idea because this is a cylinder it's easy to uv to apply uv and then <clears throat> make uh, some kind of interesting design simply by playing with the shader this is just the super basic idea um, right so yeah hopefully you find this useful and interesting it's very easy to create give it a try and we're gonna try something that's more complicated next time. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.